Okay, so I just got to get this little rant off. I got to try to help more people understand what's going on. It's very, very obvious. It just takes a little bit of work to look into everything that's going on. There's a lot of moving pieces. This is basically the tail end of the fix for 2008 financial crisis that occurred, you know, in 2008. In October for the USA, affected the, the globe. And all we're seeing and all we're living through and what we've been living through since COVID lockdowns I'm almost certain it is the Great Reset. You've been living through it. Let's go ahead and walk through this. Now, step one. For all of you out there complacent in your current state of, of mind, number one, you're likely getting slaughtered. Number two, you I don't give a fuck how much experience you have. It doesn't matter because what is happening right now in this market is unprecedented. You must humble yourself and realize this is a reality. Now, we have the 2008 recovery right here, between 2008 and 2017. Then, what happened? Liber to Sofer, the transition. Something along this line, they realized, oh fuck, we need secured rates. Not unsecured rates, but secured rates. How the fuck are we going to clear up $400 trillion of exposure to derivatives? And, in total, $400 trillion products were affected by this transition. So, how do you reprimand this? Well, you create a fucking narrative called COVID-19, which is the blanket for all of this has been going on since 2019. All the meme stock craze, all the overvalued assets, that's all that happened. If you look, in 2020 when SLR occurred, the supplemental leverage ratio, it allowed banks to lend freely. It was a, a revolving door of unlimited credit, revolving credit, that they used to purchase up risky assets that they would otherwise not have been able to lend to. And they bought up, go look at the portfolios of any market, uh, money market fund, they own the market several times over. And I don't give a fuck what you think the repo does, it is blatantly obvious based on the data that the repo, they've been shorting the entire market. That is why what we're seeing in the markets right now Along with these rate hikes, they're using the repo to short the market. Then they're going to cover. They're going to use the repo to short the market again. And they're going to cover with what, though? The SFT service. Guess what that stands for? Secured financing. What was LIBOR to SOFR about? Unsecured to secured rates. Now, let's walk through this real quick. Okay, 2008. Germany, France, Japan, Australia, USA, Russia, Italy, Euro, area, Argentina, and New Zealand, inflation over time. Look at this shit. So inflation started recording when the Fed Reserve was created back in 1913. So the Fed is the primary catalyst behind all of the decisions we're seeing, and it has all of the solutions with this monetary policy tools. When you hear Jerome Poo Powell refer to his tools, he's talking about the repo. It is the centerpiece of the economy of the world right now because in order to get forward-looking secured rates, we have to meet certain volume thresholds in the repo market, which hopefully by now we've done. And then to catch all this inflation and clean it all up, two for one special, you got the SFT service that's just been implemented as of last week. They ran behind on that. They reset the clock on the filing timing of that for whatever reason but what is what you can't argue with is the fact that when you go and you look up these dates there's always a macroeconomic decision that was made on important key dates like 2008 look when the inflation started breaking away from the pack russia and new zealand of all fucking places who has the highest inflation by far breaks away from the pack so you have to think, in 2008, Russia takes off. What have you heard in the news lately? All the narratives. Russia, 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 Russia. What have you seen happen? Not fucking shit. Because they're doing shit behind the scenes. They're still playing cleanup from 2008. And I haven't seen any fucking evidence against this. Only feelings. And, oh, I've been in the market for 30 years. And there's no way. I don't care how long you've been in the market. If you haven't looked at this shit... You're blind, bro. It doesn't matter how long you've had eyes for. You have to look at the current situation. And it's not the same. I've seen it all over the internet. 
They say, look at 2008, the chart setup's the exact same. Okay, no, it's not, because you know why? Let's walk through this. October 16, 2008, Treasury, $25 billion. Look at today, that's one huge fucking difference that I don't see anybody talking about. This is preparation. In 2015 and 2018, that was a false start. They thought they could start this fix in 2015, but guess what? They couldn't, and by 2018, they realized they needed LIBOR to fucking SOFR, which is exactly when this started, right there. So we have LIBOR to SOFR start, then what? The Fed steps in at the end of 2019 to be the lender of last resort where they still stand today, waiting to be replaced by the NSCC SFT service, which will be clearing for all these money market shit fucks with all the assets under the sun. And sorry, AMC and GME owners, your stocks are overvalued. They are. Sorry to tell you, they're going to be undervalued until 2023, just like we all know who can read. Now, continuing on, what happened in 2020? They jacked to the tits 15 different monetary policy facilities to do paycheck protection, uh, your, all that shit. I mean, you had 11 or 12 of them. I don't have them on hand, but there's quite a bit. You had the municipal money market fund facility, the credit facility, um, tons of lending facilities, revolving credit facilities, a, just a multitude of relief. And then on top of that, in 2020, on top of fucking that, before Gary Gensler even stepped into office, back in 2020, they allowed sister fund or interbank or interfund lending to occur in ETFs. That's why you go look through any ETF right now. Go on any any website you like. User of Interlect, if, if you're listening, you're on Fintel all day. How come you haven't figured this out yet? You need to go look. Not only look at the amount of positions they have, the amount of money they're sitting on, which, by the way, if you add up the AUM for Fidelity, BlackRock, and Vanguard, it almost equals to a T the same fucking number as the Fed's balance sheet. So sorry, old man repo, you've been wrong for like almost a year now on how the repo works. I really, really think you should read the underlying documentation because whatever you think you know has evolved, my friend, and left you behind. So let's continue moving forward by looking at what's happening in real time. So LIBOR to SOFR occurred in 2018. That's when they decided, hey, we need to change our rate system. That's a big fucking task. Whatever they tried to do now, <laughs> they got a, a false start here. Couldn't do it. Had to switch some shit up, and it was a big change. Now, Fed steps in 2019, September to be exact, 17th, 2019. Lender of last resort, money market funds were going to shit. All the rates were going to shit. Fed had to step in and offer lower rates. They were near zero, even dropped below zero for a brief moment. Then, what did we see? Apes were born. Yoo! -hoo! At the beginning of 2021, apes were born. Let's go to the moon. Let's all get rich without having to do a goddamn thing except listen to someone on the internet. That's not reality. Nope. Now we're in the time here in 2022 where there's still some stragglers there, but most of them have been slaughtered. That's the game. If you don't grow up and realize that this shit that you're playing in, that you're holding in, the only thing you're doing is helping the person you you think you're fighting against. Buying and holding unknowingly what you're holding without doing research other than incorrect research will lead to bag holding. And we do not want that. So let's move on. SLR happens to be the exact moment when apes were born because of course they wanted everyone to come in here and give and put their money in here this is a bail-in people not a bailout 2008 was a bailout 2022-23 is a bail-in that's your fucking difference and you can see it on this chart right here and in other places too now if you wrap this all up since 2019 in a big fucking blanket and put a cherry on top and call it COVID-19 and lock the country down and and try to cut consumer spending, which did not work, by the way. Um, what a what a way to get shit rolling because, sorry to tell you, COVID-19 was a global operation just like the Great Reset is. So everyone with the doomer gloomer, you know, we're all going to die. The West's going to get us. No, motherfucker, you've already been living through that shit right now, and you and it's coming to an end. The hurricane is on the horizon, and um, if, if you're not prepared, you're going to get in a bad situation. So remember, everything in the market is overvalued unless it isn't. Now, what things are not overvalued? You already fucking know. I'm not even going to say it. It starts with a C and ends with...